You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. Kicking off your 11 minutes of nonstop news with a check of your forecast. Chesley, how's it looking as people walk out the door? Well, it's looking pretty fair. We do have uh, fair skies on the outside. Temperatures are down into the 60s in a lot of spots. Do have some 70s in there. 71 degrees right now in Atlanta. 57 up there in Blairsville. Look at that. It's going to be hot this afternoon. You'll be thinking ice cream. Especially if you're going to take the kids out after school. 93 degrees will be your forecast high temperature. A little easterly breeze about 5 miles per hour. We'll hold on to the 90s for today. We'll do it again tomorrow, first day of fall. But after that, some cooler air will be coming our way. We'll talk more about that in the full forecast coming up. A neighborhood gunfight leaves four people hurt, including two teenagers. And this morning we're learning one of those people is now in custody. Ariana Manise is in DeKalb County with more on how this all went down. Hours after the shooting, police arrested a suspect who's facing charges for firing off multiple shots in the middle of what started off as an argument. Now, this was the scene last night. Police were called around 5 p.m to Penny Brook Lane in Stone Mountain. By the time DeKalb County Police arrived, everyone had fled the scene. The first victim was a woman who was in her house at the time. She told police several bullets went through her home and she was also grazed by one of those bullets. She said she saw a large group of teens fighting in the middle of the street when she began to hear gunfire. Two of the teens who were involved were later found near a gas station about 15 minutes away from that scene with gunshot wounds. They were taken to the hospital. A third person arrived at the hospital who had also been shot during that same fight. The third person who was already at the hospital is now a suspect in custody and police say the 26 year old is facing three counts of aggravated assault for firing multiple shots for striking those three victims. Back to you. Your 11 minutes of nonstop news continues with the latest on the investigation into a 13 year old boy's death. Jamarian Crosby's mother talked to us for the first time since her son was found minutes from his home in Lithonia. Crosby's family had been searching for him for a couple of days. His mother tells 11 Alive he went to hang out with some new friends Saturday morning and never came home. Sunday, his mother says she started getting some odd messages threatening her son's life. Jamarian's body was found Monday. She's now working with police to try to figure out who he was with the day he went missing. If you are enrolled in programs like SNAP, Medicaid, or Peach Care for Kids, check your bank account. A $350 assistance payment from the state could be there. The Department of Human Services says those of you who have email as your contact preference in Gateway should receive your money first. If you have both email and U.S. mail listed as your contacts, those payments start next week. The money's part of more efforts to help vulnerable Georgians deal with inflation and COVID-19. A multi-million dollar project could soon connect downtown and midtown, capping the space above the I-75-85 connector. Atlanta City Council just approved the city's bid to gain federal funding for the three-quarter mile project called The Stitch. It would add more green space, park space, and walkable space to the area. Construction could start in two years and could be done by 2032. The World Series champs have done it again. The Braves punched their ticket to the playoffs after their win over the Nationals. The Braves will still battle the Mets for a division title in the final few weeks. Sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news, police now fear a woman who's been missing for months is dead. And they've named two suspects in connection to her murder. Molly Oak is breaking down the new details from investigators. Police are actively searching for a man facing a felony murder charge. Police say Alani Lenore died in the apartments behind me nearly two months ago, but say her body was moved. The first suspect, Deontay Reynolds, is in custody at the Fulton County Jail. Now, police want and need your help finding 29-year-old Steve Abate. Police believe he's in the metro area and hope finding him will help them get the information they need to bring Lenore home. So far, police say the other suspect, Reynolds, has not been helpful with the investigation. Both suspects face charges of felony murder and felony concealing a death. Police say Lenore had short interactions with both men before she died. Police say at this point, while they're still investigating, they don't know the motive. Back to you all. Molly, thank you. New this morning, Georgia's attorney general is threatening to take on credit card companies over a new gun store code. He joined Republican attorneys general from two dozen states in writing a letter to Visa, American Express and MasterCard. They say they will take legal action if the companies move forward with plans to create a separate sales category for gun stores. Advocates believe the change could flag mass shooters and gun traffickers, but these attorneys general say the practice would violate gun owners' rights and possibly consumer protection laws. 
Also new for you this morning, we are getting a better idea of how student debt relief is going to impact Georgians. The White House just rolled out new numbers showing there are more than one and a half million borrowers in the Peach State, just over a million with Pell Grants expected to be eligible for relief. Last month, President Biden released his plan to provide up to $20,000 in debt relief to Pell Grant recipients, $10,000 to other borrowers under the plan. Let me just remind you that it's going to be a hot afternoon. Let me say it again. It's going to be a hot afternoon. I'll say we didn't warn you, right? Temperatures right at 86 degrees under mostly sunny skies by noon. In fact, we're looking at it being hot again by three o'clock. We'll hit 90 on our way to about 93 for a high temperature by six o'clock. We'll drop back down to about 89 degrees. Look at the sunny skies out there. A few cumulus clouds around, but no rain coming out of those clouds at all. We'll easterly breeze about five miles per hour. We are so happy we get to share this update with you. We told you about how Austin was celebrating his ninth birthday and how badly his family wanted to show him he's loved. Austin has autism. He's gone through a lot of bullying. Last year, nobody showed up for his birthday party. Well, this year, a very special day. Thanks to Magnolia Place in Roswell. Look at all these gifts they brought him. There were signs in the yard. There were tents up, dozens of birthday cards, and a huge turnout. Look at that pile of gifts. We're sure Austin <laughs> felt all the love for the big number nine. Mm. All right, looking forward to next year. Double digits going to be That's even big. better, Austin. It's big. Happy birthday. Today's show's next. Have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow morning.